This video will demonstrate how to create a physical constraint set and apply that physical constraint set to nets in the design. We'll start by launching the constraint manager using the constraint manager icon. We make sure that we're in the physical domain. You can see that's currently selected. I want to create a new constraint set, so make sure I'm in the physical constraint set. I'll select the all layers workbook. I'll select the design object, right mouse button, create physical C set. I'll call it 8 mil because I want to route my nets at an 8 mil line. I'll come down and set my values. I want an 8 mil line. I don't want any necking, so I'll set the neck to 8 also. I've now created my physical constraint set called 8 mil. I need to apply that to some objects in my design. I will now go to the net folder, to the all layers workbook. Here's all my nets in the design. I have a series of clock nets that I want to follow that rule. I'll select all these clock nets, the left mouse button and drag. I'll move my mouse over any of the selected cells, right mouse button, create class, and give it a new name, clocks. Notice that all the nets have disappeared from here. They are now in that net class up top. Here it is. In order to assign that net class to that new physical constraint set, I'll just select over here and say I want that to go to 8 mils. You can see now it's got an 8 mil line, 8 mil neck. Everybody else has the default is 5. Let's see if we can see this actually work. I know that pin 1 over here, pin 4, of this part is a clock net. So I'll do a add connect. By default, it's going to 5 mil line. However, when I start routing that neck, we'll see that if I hover my mouse over, it says that that is now at an 8 mil line width. This concludes the demonstration on how to create a physical constraint set and apply that physical constraint set to nets or objects in the design.